Hello, and welcome to Debugging SSL TLS Decode Errors. I think the best place to start off first is explaining what is SSL and TLS. SSL, or Secure Sockets Layer, came first, followed by TLS, or Transport Layer Security. Both are frequently referred to as SSL and are the standard security technology for establishing an encrypted link between a web server and a browser. So what is an SSL decode error? If the TIM does not see the traffic received as containing valid or complete SSL or TCP packets, then the result is an SSL decode failure. To debug SSL decode errors, we must know what might be causing them. Here are a few scenarios. These symptoms can be caused when the TIM is seeing false connections to the web server, but these packets contain no application data. This causes the TIM to generate a decode failure for each such connection. SSL decode failures can be due to TCP handshake packets on the SSL port that contain no data. An invalid protocol can be the cause of this. The TIM was restarted while SSL sessions were in progress. Broken communication due to missing packets dropped at the SPAN infrastructure. Let's troubleshoot each of these scenarios. The TIM is seeing false connections to the web server but these packets contain no application data. Use Wireshark on a captured PCAP file to further confirm that false connections are the root cause. If using a standard TIM, it would need to filter the traffic reaching the actual TIM to prevent sources of false connection type data. If using an MTP TIM, it can add a separate hardware filter, similar to the default HTTP full packets, to exclude the common IPs generating the false connections. SSL decode failures can be due to TCP handshake packets on the SSL port that contain no data. An example of this may be load balancer checking for various hosts. If this is the case, filter the traffic so that the TIM MTP, does not see that traffic. There was an invalid protocol. It is recommended to perform a full health check. The TIM is restarted while SSL sessions are in progress. These sessions will register as incomplete as seen by the new TIM instance. Broken communication due to missing packets dropped at the SPAN infrastructure. When analyzing traffic through a SPAN port, the switch's CPU copies the full duplex signal, integrating RX and TX into one TX signal routed to the SPAN port. A TAP delivers both TX and RX signals separately, providing a pass-through for network traffic and a full duplex line rate signal to an analysis device. The dual receive analyzer receives both sides of the full duplex link with no error filtering or packet loss. There are different tools that can be used to help debugging SSL TLS codes. Other tools include knowledge-based articles at support.ca.com, for example, KnowledgeDoc TEC 1122441, Wireshark, and as of APM 10.5, there is available SSL logging. APM SSL logging is valuable in providing cipher suites used, SSL handshake, or empty packets. I hope this has answered some questions about SSL TLS decode errors you may have had. Be sure to join our CA communities to get answers to product-related questions, submit product ideas, view product tips, webcasts, and much more. Thank you for watching this video. For more videos, please subscribe to the CA Educate channel on YouTube. For more detailed information on CA application performance management, click the information bubble in the top right corner to load the product page. From there, you can go to product documentation, visit CA communities, or see the learning path.